learn something from. And this is one of the stories, the parables that Jesus told when people would come to hear him. And it starts out with a shepherd. Now this shepherd has 100 sheep. And he had a special house for them with a wall all around it and a gate. He would put the sheep in at the end of the day, close the gate with the sheep for all the day. In the morning, he would open the gate and take the sheep out to find them some good grass and water to drink. And every day, he counted the sheep. One, two, three, four, he made sure that all of his sheep were there. And he would take his sheep out. He would call his sheep. And he had names for every one of his sheep. One hundred sheep, and they all knew their shepherd's voice. And he would call them, Come on, sheep, let's go. Let's go out and get some food. And they would go out and they would eat the good green grass. And then he would find a little bit of water and he would drink some water. And then, after their tummies were all full of grass, and they had all the water they needed to drink, then he would call them and say, it's time to go home, come on, sheep. And the sheep would hear their shepherd's voice, and they would come, and they would follow him all the way home. And he would count them as they went home, one, two, three, four, five, Well, one day when he was taking his sheep out, and they were eating, and they were drinking, and it was almost time for them to go home, they were getting kind of tired. He said, okay, sheep, time to come home, come on. And the sheep, they listened to him, all except for one of the sheep. Hmm. If you can see, can you see that picture down there? It's a little tiny sheep. And he climbed up on the rock, and he fell down inside the rock. And there was a sticker bush in there, and he got stuck in there, and he couldn't get out. He heard the shepherd's voice, but he couldn't follow, he couldn't come. And so all the sheep and all the shepherds, they all went off, and they left him, and he was all alone over there, and he was feeling very, very scared. Oh no, the shepherd left me. I don't know where he is. And the shepherd, he took all his other sheep and he brought them all back home again. And he put them away and said, go into your house. Go back into your house. And as they went into their house, he counted them. One, two, three, four, five, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Wait a minute. Okay. Let me count again. One, two, three, four, five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Mm. Something wrong. One of my sheep is missing. <gasps> Do you think the shepherd said, oh, well, you know, ninety-nine is okay. I, I don't need that one hundred sheep. Ninety-nine is a lot. I don't need another sheep. Do you think he said that? Mm -hmm. oh. Not this shepherd, because this shepherd was really good. He says to his other sheep, you guys need to stay here, because I'm going to go look for your brother. He's lost somewhere. Something's wrong. So he went out to look for that sheep, and he didn't know where he was. And he went looking everywhere. He went over here. Hmm, is he over here? No. Um, went over here. Yeah. Maybe he's over here by the tree. Yeah. Yeah. Then he heard something. Yeah. Is that a cow? No. Yeah. Is that a baby? No. Yeah. It must be my lost sheep. Oh, I think it's like over here. So he 
he reaches down there and he, he gets that sheep out of that sticker bush. Oh, I think that's the sheep got a little, he's got a little scratch. That's probably an owie there. And then he picks that poor little sheep up. Oh, and the sheep was so, he had an owie, he couldn't walk. So the shepherd picked him up on his shoulder and carried him all the way back to his house. And when he got to his house, he told all of his friends and all of his neighbors, he said, look, my sheep, the sheep I thought was lost. I found him. He's safe. Let's have a party. Woohoo! I found my lost sheep. Woo! And he was so happy. Now, the reason Jesus told this story is because God is like that shepherd. God loves you so much, just like the shepherd loves his sheep. Do you know that you are sheep? You are sheep to God. He loves you so much, and he wants to take care of you. He wants you to listen to his word, and the sheep listen to the shepherd. And he wants to take care of you. And he doesn't want any of you to ever get lost.